Finally tackling perhaps, the biggest term in the DeFi space, one that has drawn in billions of dollars in value into the space and has been highly confusing for beginners. The idea of providing liquidity to a market is nothing new, it is essentially like placing a limit order in a regular centralized order book based exchange. In that case you are the market maker, providing a trade for the taker who comes in and buys slash sells your order at your price. However, with the rise of automated market makers such as Uniswap dominating the DeFi space liquidity differs a fair bit in a case like that, if you want to learn more about Uniswap in general you can check out my article on it here. How automated market makers workums have taken the DeFi space by storm, with the biggest ones being Uniswap, Curve and Balancer, with hundreds of other forks and clones. Essentially what they all have in common is they provide a swap pool where you get to swap one asset for another, for example you deposit in Ethereum and get USTK in return. Obviously, this exchange can t come from nowhere, someone has to take your Ethereum and give you USTK in return. This is where the role of liquidity providers comes in, as an LP you supply both ETH and USTK to the swap pool, granting a service to users wishing to swap between them. For that service you take a small fee of every transaction, 0.3% in the case of Uniswap, 0.02% in Curve and Custom Imbalancer. So, if someone was to swap 1000 USD for 2 ETH for example they would pay 1003 USD for the 2 ETH on Uniswap, and you as the LP pocket the 3 USD as fees. This means that in the long term if the price of the assets you are providing liquidity for remains constant or close to constant, you keep pocketing all these fees over time. Obviously however, nothing comes for free. And you as the LP have to take on some risk to pocket those fees, and that is where the risk of price changes come in the form of impermanent loss. This also does not include the risk of these contracts possibly having vulnerabilities that could allow attackers to steal your money, but that is a risk you assume as soon as you step into the online world in the first place. Understanding impermanent loss There are many terms for this phenomenon, but Linux is the most popular one by far due to how it summarizes how and why it happens. As the name implies, this loss is not permanent and only occurs when you exit the LP position at a different price than you entered at. For example, if you entered the aforementioned at slash us pool when F was $250 and exited one month later at $350 per at you would have experienced Linux, in this case, Holding your ETH and USD separately outside the pool would have actually been more profitable than putting them into the pool. This occurs due to how these pools function, where users deposit one asset and take out another, which is what changes the price, so you end up with more of the, now, less valuable asset and less of the more valuable one. As such, LP positions are seen as long-term positions rather than short-term one most often, except in liquidity mining, mentioned later. This is due to the fact that Linux does in T occur if you leave at around the same price you went in at, meaning you got all the fees and no potential loss. This has made some pools more desirable to prof. You can read full post on CryptoFans. News, link available in text below.